Hello love, welcome back. My name is Jennifer Laurel Keller and I'm an acrylic and mixed media artist and instructor. But what I really do is help people gain creative confidence. In this video, I'm going to share with you my latest project, a no-sew, handmade, crunchy, grungy, mixed media journal slash treasure book. My focus here was slamming together a bunch of materials while staying in the moment. In the book, I paid special attention to composition, color, texture, layering, and allowing each component to guide the process. And I didn't use any sewing or stitching for the binding. So if you're interested about how I assembled the pages, let me know in the comments because I'm considering doing a class about this. And who knows, by the time you watch this, maybe I'll have already made the class on Skillshare. All right, so let's start talking about the cover. I have a lot of scraps going around the edge of my corrugated cardboard. And the corrugated cardboard is dry brushed in white acrylic paint. And then it's adhered to fabric, which is helping uh, make the binding a lot more sturdy. And it has stray threads and things like that, but that's okay with me because this is messy. And I love, I was considering putting something else on the corrugated cardboard, but I just put this X there and I feel like X marked the spot. It was just kind of something I did really quickly and I was really happy with it. So let's go into the pages. This first spread, I have a floral theme. I uh, have this fabric cut out of a flower. And then I replicated it over here with some pen and pencil, some colored pencil, and then some scraps of paper to the side. And um, it's jagged on the edges. All of these pages are. And there's a background that the flowers are over, which has a lot of scraps and then acrylic gesso over that. Okay, next I have this bird motif. I have a bird printout and it's looking in that direction. So your eye is guided to the feathers on this side. And next the dots. I do a lot of dots in the journal and there's some marks from homework underneath it, it looks like. So here's the close up and it just has a lovely uh, color palette and some texture in there. Moving forward, this is a monochromatic spread. You might recognize the butterfly from my paper butterflies class. And I'll have a link to that class down below. But I love how the elephant and, and the butterfly are on the same page along with these leaves that I draw on many of the spreads in the journal. And the butterfly is a nice juxtaposition to the elephant because he got small and big. And we're playing with that concept. Next, this one is kind of abstract. I have a couple papers on the left and more of that ledger that has homework in it, some numbers. I used white and black pens here and they play off of the music notes with those dots and I used some mark making in gold around the edges and I used the white pen to kind of fill in the gaps around the sheet music which is kind of fun. I had fun just playing and doodling with that. Here's another butterfly. I love this one. I think it might be one of my favorites. The brown paper on the edges is the base paper for the book. That's what the book started as. So that's really just the size of what the, the bones of the book were. And then I used all of the paper scraps over that to make it larger. So I've got tissue paper sheet music and the sheet music had a butterfly cut out of it already so it shows the brown paper from underneath and then the tissue paper over the top just calms that down and then I used the pens gold black and white over the top just playing with mark making and I had a lot of fun on that one it came together really quickly and I'm really happy with it next this one is kind of crazy but um, it came together 
nicely. So I have this illustration of the botanical element here. And then there's some green on the bottom, which ties in the green from the illustration. And then this paper is a, kind of like the negative space. I cut out a floral element from that page and I had this fun cutout. So I played with dots around it and it just kind of turned into something really interesting, kind of like a, a rhythmic, I don't know, just a, just a fun movement on that page. Next, we have this one, which, um, of course, there's the heart, and then these cross sections of botanical pieces, illustrations, and then some fun papers backing that, some dots, and then a few more. There's like a stitch in that orange paper, but I really had fun with that one. I think it's unique and unusual. And here's the close-up. So you can see more. There's this fun stitching and pattern. I don't know. It's all just kind of working together. I like how the purple plays off of the purple in that cross section there as well. And this one is also a little bit abstract. We do have some leaf sketches. And then I've got some layers of paper here. There's homework uh, corrections from the teacher and that was on the original paper and then some collaging over that and then the purple and yellow work really good together because they're opposites on the color wheel and then I have this fuzzy layer over this side which has paper under it it's transparent but it's kind of meant for just being pet <laughs> it has a fun texture to touch and next, I have this swirly piece. It's an illustration from a book about boats and ships, and it's actually the front of a Viking ship. So I've got some dots and scribbles in there, and then this really bold spiral, and then you can see all of the carvings in the Viking ship on that uh, collage piece. Really fun. Next, I have another butterfly. This is one that I sketched. The sheet music did have a cutout of a butterfly in it because I used that for the butterfly class, paper butterflies. And then I drew over the top and then continued some pen work over on the left or the, the right hand side. And I just love how loose the sketch is. And how um, all of the colors work really fun together. There's a little bit of gold in that black paper on the right hand side. And next we have a um, floral element that is embroidered. The right side I had already assembled. It was kind of ready to go partially. And then the embroidered flower on the side and then some yellow pieces of fabric from the same uh, fabric. And then some dots and mark making. Lots of white pen that just kind of steps back and is there just to embellish it, make it lots of fun. And it says there is no separation, which I kind of liked. And just lots of goodies on that side. Next, we have another bird and feather. And the feather started it out. I love the dots on that. And then the bird seemed to uh, relate to it. And then I added some more dots on that side, tying together the dots from the feather. And I just think it's uh, some fun focal points and creates an interesting direction in the piece with the way the bird is heading and facing. Next, this one originally was just kind of a black and white grayscale kind of thing, but I added the purple and yellow together. Uh, which make each other pop and then these letters on the side on the right side and I like how you can see the feather peeking through almost like it's part of that piece as well it seems to miss uh, to complement the color palette on that next this is a fun one I started with the bird 
because it went with the background papers that I was that I was using. And then I have this mesh fabric which has embroidery on it. And so this botanical element hangs off the side and I love that three-dimensional feeling. We've got some sketches of leaves and then some mark making there. And I always try and face the birds. I try to, sometimes I forget, I try to have direction in the way the um, animals and people are facing in my uh, mixed media work. And then here, this is the last spread. I've got this guy chopping down a tree. I believe this was from the same book as the Viking ship element. And I continued some of the line work from that illustration through. And then the red pops kind of speak to each other there. I had a butterfly cut out again and then filled in that space all with mark making with my pens. And then there's another tree on that side. So the left and right both have trees kind of book ending this uh, spread together. And there it is. Really fun. And I just love how everything sh kind of peeks through from the pages behind. Here is the back cover. I have this beautiful hand embroidered fabric. I got it at a thrift store. It was part of a dress. And then there are threads hanging off the side. But the glue is going to keep it from um, unraveling too much. I've got burlap and then more of that mesh fabric with the botanical uh, piece on it like you can see sticking out from that page that I used it on also. And there are little sequins and things on that fabric, giving it a little bit of reflection. And you can see here a little bit of the how the binding is. And um, it's all done with glue and folding. So just layers and layers. And this is kind of a prototype, so um, I have some ideas for the next one that's going to make it just a little bit easier. Um, but I had so much fun with this, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so that's everything. If you're interested in learning more about mixed media and how I layer and make some of the components in the book, I definitely recommend checking out my online classes, specifically Let Go and Layer with Mixed Media Journaling, Scraptastic, how to use your papers with mixed media, and paper butterflies for mixed media crafts and collage. Those are all on Skillshare and I will leave links for you down below to find those. And of course, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me. I've recently had a few extra followers and I really, really appreciate it because I'm. it just makes me so happy to know that people are finding my content inspirational. You inspire me to keep going. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It helps out so, so, so much. And let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a class about a no-so handmade art journal. So thank you again. I hope you have a great week. Happy creating and much love.